Today, we'll start by loading a family from the standard company library. We have a range of products created as BIM components, and for this design, we'll use the Zendenova panel radiator. If we select the Zendenova NHLH, it opens to show all the different models for the NHLH radiator listed by height. This is where the components are loaded from, and the list can be filtered to find a specific height, for example, one to fit below a window. For this design, we'll select these three heights. The components are now loaded into our building model and displayed under the insert tabs on the left. Mechanical Equipment Radiators Zendenova NHLH range. We'll select the 5656. The first thing you'll notice is that it only wants to be attached to a wall. Therefore, it's intelligent enough for the object to know it needs a wall to attach to. And if we hover anywhere over the wall, it automatically suggests the default mounting height based on the Zender's technical data, which, in this case, is 100 millimeters from the floor. We shall place the radiator here. The first thing you'll notice is that the component is dimensionally correct to the Zendenova radiator. The second thing is that, within the Properties tab, it contains all the information for Zender. That is, company name, manufacturer as Zender, and model NHLH5656. Product Documentation Link This is an active link and opens up the full technical brochure for the Zender Nova. There is a link to the Zender website. In addition, the keynote, which is also known as Specification, is to NBS Specification. Assembly codes are listed, as well as some green building properties. As well as this generic information data, or identity data, there are other items included such as actual technical and performance data. For the chosen radiator, data showing total water capacity, surface area, EN442 wattage, the dry weight, system classification etc. is all stored within the component and listed under properties. And because the Zender BIM components are parametric, if we change the length of this radiator, It'll update the data dynamically. For example, by changing the length of the radiator to 1800, the figures update automatically based on the rules that are built into this component. Changing the size is simple, as you can see by making the radiator 2 meters long. However, as the component is parametric, it knows if a size of radiator cannot be manufactured. For example, the maximum length possible for the Zendenova radiator is 6 meters. If we try to specify 6.5 meters, it displays that the maximum or minimum span exceeded and the component then suggests an alternative. So Zender BIM components are intelligent enough to help the designer or architect specify accurately. The length of the required radiator can now be altered accordingly and you can see the data updating automatically. To sum up, the Zender components are dimensionally correct, flexible to the preset rules, and contain the relevant contact details and documentation data. This component also contains colour swatches which can change the colour of this radiator, allowing a designer to produce renderings at the push of a button. To do this, it needs to know the texture maps for this radiator. For example, the colour can be changed from RAL 9006 to RAL white. Standard colour variations can be built into these components and when rendered, the image of the radiator will look like a photograph without much complication. Connectors are built in, so when the architect's model is passed to an engineer, he can plug his systems in here. 
And because these objects all have the data stored within them, the software can calculate if this radiator is adequate for this room. It also aids with calculating the system flows, making sure the boiler is big enough for the building. The parametric component is able to do a lot of analysis to make sure the building model is correct and that the system works correctly. An additional feature of all Zender components is the inclusion of product-specific options. This radiator, for example, is available with feet instead of being wall-mounted. To do this, if we select the radiator, select Fixed Tubular Feet and click Apply, feet are added to the model. Again, parametric data means that if the radiator is made smaller, a metre wide for example, it will remove the middle foot. And, in accordance with the technical data, if the radiator is changed to two and a half metres wide, the extra feet are added back in. Therefore, it's intelligent enough to know the number of feet required is dependent on the width of the radiator. To conclude, this is one of the BIM components from Zender. In addition, radiant ceiling panels, trench heaters, and other radiator models are also available.